Hi, how's it in the name of Christ? How are you doing? It's your girl, Cran K. Gigarabo. I hope you're good. I hope you're peachy. I hope you're stellar and I hope you're in a neat little bunch. If you're not welcome to the party, is that just not the story of our lives? What's up? I'm shaking. Today is the uh, 13th of November, 2024. And the title is Filth has declared war, but only because that's how God is killing it. Filth has declared war, but only because that's how God is killing it. I'm shaking right now because I have just fought for my life. So it's written in God's word. That work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Like I implore you, but you don't really have to take me seriously because at the end of the day, this here is a serious matter. You must understand that I will do anything to survive today and then live to repent tomorrow. Aonamotu that's going to push me over the edge and succeed to get me hanging on a noose when they're the ones going to hell. There's a whole bunch of men, including the filth in America, that have um, a little bit of a jihad mindset where I'm concerned, suicide bombing, telling themselves that they're gonna kill me then kill themselves. How their spells manifest is in the way that whatever vessel of wickedness is in the environment treats me. You must understand that I will throw a stone and knock a person to the ground to render them catatonic for 30 seconds, enough for me to escape a moving bus. I will save my life by any means necessary. I have just been poked and prodded away at by some drunk on the property where I stay. And Lumunt Lona is easily usable because of their alcohol habit. And I went and I grabbed the juicy Zahakeko Frijin that she uses to dash alcohol. And I just threw them all over the complex. because she decided to poke and prod away at me she's been busy since last night i won't do that because i'm in the middle of all night prayer so she manifests demons and tries to push me to the end of myself my the corner of my eye and when she finally made a decision to basically just poke at my eye this person went and took my drinks in the refrigerator at the Bayamo kitchen counter and then filled up the fridge with her crap. While hers just fill out the fridge. Something that even my mom would have a bone to pick with because this many people. You don't get to fill the refrigerator with all your trash, especially considering it's all your alcohol trash. You like your juices nice and cold and nice and frosty and nice and icy so you can mix them with your freaking vodka. And then you go and you move Garabo's drinks out of the fridge to chill on the counter. So that everybody in these streets can move aside for some crazy people. I grabbed those juices and I threw them as far as my weak little arms can throw. And they landed on the pavement, the garage, whatever. I then swung her door open and told her where to get off with the highest voice I could. She closed the door. She was on a call. I then banged the door again so that the people that she's on the phone with could hear that I'm pissed. Following which, I went outside, seeing as the complex has rules. Can't be just throwing garbage on the floor. So I went and I grabbed her garbage drinks and I threw them in the room where she was at just to let her know that next time 
you do something to poke and prod away at me again, I'm not going to just sit around waiting for you to end my life, adding insult to my injuries because you are reciprocating with satanic men that want to slip into my life gangane, or have me die. You're not going to make me nar. You're not going to make me nar. I avoid you for good reason. Barely talk to you for good reason. Chief that around in the periphery for good reason. I just freaking avoid you for good reason. Because you're satanic. And every time you be out here, I got that you hide in your bedroom. Mm. You get worse. So, for good reason, gets what I'm and I largely angry fool me. When I am nicely avoidant of you, and then you decide in Jefela Hong Kogela, sisters, I will give you a lack of peace for a good five minutes. So that next time you pull a stunt, you will think again. I will interrupt you in the middle of a call with a person that thinks highly of you and I will yell and scream until you have to get off the phone so you can understand that you don't just get to literally risk my life and get away with it. This here is not a game. I'm in a spiritual war. So Banna, allow me to help you understand this. I'm fighting for my life. And I'm gonna win. Because the people who are poking and prodding away at me are crazy. They're crazy enough to cause everybody else on the left and on the right to be like, but why did you do that? So ultimately, my side is gonna get taken. You don't want to poke at me. Neither prod away at me. Fast and furious before I will grab a noose and hang myself. I will throw like it is a brick into a window. A whole full juice, yeah, liquid fruit, go pavementing, so you can understand that next time, because I'm concerned about body corporate rules. Next time, get hella on your head. The same person months back, poking and prodding away at me, she is the only reason why I've ever attempted suicide. Poking and prodding away at me. I finally shoved her, I pushed her, and ever since then she hasn't pulled any stunt of that nature. What I'm trying to explain to you guys is the very thing that I spoke about the other day, a couple of videos ago. I said that, nah, I will never accommodate these idiots, but you see, that's just the sad thing. The moment you say, ew, over my dead body, they're like, okay, fine, then I guess die. But listen to this. I did say that y'all don't want me in the company of a filthy satanic man. That's always just going to keep on spiking my drink because minang zombulal. You must understand I'm under so much attrition. I am under so much war. I am in so much spiritual war. There is so much sorrow encircling me that when I see that somebody's trying to kill me or react or manifest demons so as to end my life, so as to cause me to quickly just commit suicide, in and of myself I get violent. So it's written in God's word that the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force. Nankutra. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force. So if you are going to poke and prod away at me just to irritate me without realizing that you could make me commit suicide, I'm going to freaking get violent. So I am literally five seconds away from killing somebody. That's what needs to be comprehended. So all these men that think that they can just slide into my life by causing misery through my family. But the beautiful thing about this is that I don't have to drive a knife into your hearts because I'll never accommodate you. But you see, the beautiful extra thing about it as well is that I've been saying the past videos that I've been posting Nobody is going to stand in front of me and sharing this work 
for petty reasons. Ana motho o tlong tulang mo sifubeng. O ka se tlosweng ka sthunya lang kutla. So let's just get straight into this like I said. Manifestation ya rabishi ya le tawa le mojarateng. E tswa ga montle ke a tlhaloganya. Mara le tawa la lona. Le dula le tlo la thelwa le tawa la lona. Is going to have Munyago kicked in on her. I don't let her look at the juicy motor home. I was a retaliate because I'm stronger than her after all. Kill it down. You must understand. And why I killing my own no is unto death. This is not just sibling rivalry. Langkud. Kill it. Then she be linked to the matter because but to be busy with the human sacrifice rituals. So God shift this up. Let the wall alone. Most I think, come back. I'm trouble because of that. Following which, I'm then going to go into spiritual war against you. Seeing as Halim Momo Jarateng Dinja do it, Zahulo Yagadi Korobel. This is what's good. Kole Rava Zagatabel. I can't. I can't come to you personally. And just flail whatever thing in Kai Tolang Most I think a knife. I get to and just slice your throat. I can't. You're too far. I kill it. Zebi babang baluna. I kill it. Zebi kila like my yina. What you look like must fatle hong. I kill it. Zebi. I don't know you, so I can't just get in my car, drive to where you're at, shoot you dead, so that you know, I don't have to deal with you anymore. I can't just at a whim, out of a moment of passion, just come and end you. Cause I'm nazi, and I've been saying, Hori, do yourselves a big fat chunky favor and leave me alone because lebatla musadi that is going to premeditate ukshona guenu. Because the moment I would ever find out that Munna oke munyetseng waloya, I promise you ngamwe melora arubale, and then I would drive a knife into his chest arubezi or on his throat. Getcheloka, I am not beyond ubulala langkutwa. I am not beyond it. I am absolutely not beyond it because at this particular juncture, hotel loa haka nagadi tari. Kima swami. Halitlong pata leka sing hapo tuka haka na ben na kesa zami hule kenya maka sing self. Y'all are not going to work to the nail gaplunganjena to put me in a casket and have me not work similarly to the nail to put y'all in caskets too. So after ki lachela ga juice rabishi ya le tawale ya mocha ga teng. Then ki tota mona ki etzem sebe tzio na following which I'm going to spend all night long ki rapela. And God is going to give me exactly what I want. I've been saying it ki chelo maupan. Hore, anyone that's standing in my way, halis na halina na ako. Five, four, three, two. Your time is up. It's over. And last night I had a dream of that nature. Last night kilorile ka five, four, three, two. And a whole bunch of amatoda. Kupai, can we just talk, okay? You cause family members to manifest. Ngasi lot hava na uswaka gati ba. Mara kitlo mo lasa la gali botolo la liquid fruit. Komo lasa la gali box la liquid fruit. Lilo lenda strategic lo ra kote ba roska tlo ngwa e roska tlo ngtel. Kuchela my drinks mo fridging. Right now you're poking and prodding away at me. Watse ba ruangwa una lilo koko. And now watse ba kitlo tika zame zame olonga tafela why? Because I'm persecuted. I'm irritable. Kifra kenar I'm going through a spiritual war that you will never understand. So it's all her who's saying got to AM lo pecha spinachi because you you're manifesting demons cause kara pel. Do that. Take it out on freaking spinachi. Maharanga was saying one kudra. Take it out on cigarette. Lebo joa lebo bonga tabo bokan. Maranga was katota kuna. Hai ba ni ma demona kahua manifesta because na kara pel all day long mo chara tenki kupa olonwa ni pia hau. Otu e kuna. Um fita festo. Um kisen tuka ofela kabo joa la do that. Maranga kuna. Na personally. Yagnenga ungang bambinga ma washing cause you will regret it. I wanna le balance cause to loud that way so anka ku push and fell off. Uta wa ene tumpia bi two it lasha. So I'm on naki goats. Kiva shifty isa ba mo chagate. By cordially just letting them know that nyagnenga I'm in a spiritual war. Mara you. Ni na that are watching my content. You are not my sibling. You are not my family members that just keep on helping the rubbish it's a ban or things are making can the the rubbish it's a ban that I want dead. How can that out shift this asset and then I am much at any other tower out of the way. Can you hold that? At all and I'm at all and I'm not wrong. Can you bottle local boxy liquid fruit? 
I then go to God and I'm like, this can't carry on anymore. Like, my situation and I feel like it's not giving. Or don't look at another whole jana just like that. Are you gonna let these people kill me? Just fell bang bang push her over the edge. Kill more edging already. Just like that. And then get some sebeti ona. Get rap ele busu kau fella. Get roba ele. And then look at me dream about your mass murder. Look at me dream about your mass homicide. Look at me dream about your mass funeral services and look at me dream about the release of my person through ukshona gwenu. Look at me dream about ukdutula gwenu. Look at me dream about ukshaisa ish ukshaisa hi moto of y'all. Look at me dream about y'all niche. One of them came a little large hamohara building just like that. Anta li visa matamata lag. What's it gonna do for you? Matamata agu tu kufedi le so chill. You are not getting out of this because some bone, some something exploded and this bugger. Anta sha ha ha anta matamant. Eh, you endure me through all this, thinking what you guys are showing me. Na koto mina. I'm trying to protect my life. I grab a shield, get you protect. And then Tanya na anta li visa in la shala kama kama tapa mo jarating. Mo mo coating wa ka mo kileng coating. Kung kama tapa ating, bakit masha bakit washa pa na ona bag? Hor alo lenda mo mo tuting ang trohel. Ozo mo naga bruise because o sebe di situ. As a vessel of dishonor against me, mara the root cause, the random rubbishes that sent that nonsense, the rubbishes that caused a manifestation of umuntu as ovuga and Jake sending o two a.m. as o Peggy spinach. The people who did that. Yeah, but they're not gonna get away. Get liquid fruit in Jeffela at all landing more windows, splashing everything all over the show. Yeah. Yeah, but Abba's out dealing in motor behind them. Wow, whamming them on the ground because some driver, some motorist lost control, and when I'm totally busy, I'm on my phone. Telling your secretary or your personal assistant, "Hora a." Buke meeting you for 2 a.m. for 2 p.m. So with another client. Oto chis wake ko loe since I know only half sentence. So I guess no, we're not going to be having the 2 p.m. now, are we? Let's go, Lala. How go talk about I'm not going anywhere. I'm. I told you. Mara le tlong zam. Kelo na body lights out. So let's just get straight into it. La bona hore title ya minaiza ere filth has declared war but only because that's how God is killing it. Ke chilo kara ha ke expect to hore lelo lengi sa matsogo la nkutlo. I don't expect you hore let's go fitla in this sporting match of ours more gara panang rwa panang. Hore lelo fitla ntse fela lelo faela manala sing as as ban na ke le kentse di cherry di pizi ka di kwa kwa mo TikTok ntse le di pizi la pere di week tsa rona cuz le kentse di cherry. Yeah. Mm. This effeminate spirit that's made you pursue women unto death. I live at the river strong as it is. Reza anything, Mamela. Mafua luna kwa kwa boni. Hey, like y'all need to understand the way that God is so picking up on Lebanon. Ne, the way that He is picking up on with black men. The way that I live like a thing. Yes, like it. It is because of what you have done single-handedly to black women. Like you have made women real. You've made them evil. You've made them mourn. You have made them an insufferable in his sight. You have taken away that dainty, coy, sweet thing and that Basari generally have. You have made them lose their ability to nurture. Because what is in the world is not going to be able to do it. The child is not going to be able to do it. That are also wreaking havoc in my life. The way that Mudimu Asalibat Ling Nunaga Dengi Banna, you can see it, I can see it, Mina personally, in my dreams. And how it is that God is dealing with the Cherizes and the Satan versus Banna Bating. Hashem Haloluka, Kechiloka, there's going to be way like a, a whole epidemic of the creation of widows. What, like your witchcraft is a widow maker. Thank you, son. Widow maker is an orphan maker. Y'all are about to die in your numbers and a boat taking the balloon about a bank. What it's a hallet hoka fella. My I cannot tell because girl. Enjoy a how I want it to cause a little while I couldn't do more. Ling have a link. It did drink it's like I did. It didn't take off reaching with your baller on the counter. I want it. Bolo ibalona, but look how our horror na ke footer footer steam ke lo la sala di juicy mo pavement ding mo driveway. Hi ban, bolo ibalona, but look how our horror na ke do kinsa ke busy ke pesha menya ko ke racha menya ko mo jarating. Disturbing peace causing neighbors to wonder where's Alang mo. 
all that level of freaking unrest when I who so discord between brothers and then make a rappel within a couple of hours the thing that did that to me lines out I am here to happily announce that God finally gave me a due date, a timeline, and I am grateful for that timeline. Ya corner, no, but it says good next week. So, being recline my feet up on a chair in Zanzibar, can we draw some coconut drink? Lavona title yaga. Let's read it again. Filth has declared war, and then there's like a whole little declaration piece of paper, but only because that's how God is killing it, and then there's like a watch that you can see there first it's at the uppermost hour mark and then it's half past and then it's uppermost again because that's how quickly your time is up the hourglass sand is officially depleted and i am grateful because this thing that i'm feeling now and all this rubbish of manifestation of it as at midnight i know shame the Lord made it clear to me, Hori, time is up. It does not matter that this content, by the time I post it, some of y'all will already be dead. Because I'm only going to put it up on Thursday. It's Wednesday today, the 13th of November. But by the time it's up, midnight of Wednesday, 13th of November, will be done. I need to go pee so I can tell you what in the world I saw in my dreams. Anyone with any kind of demonic problem to be all up in my grill. Anyone that is a junkie, a drug addict, anyone that is an alcoholic, anyone because you need a fix. manifesta. a magic carpet and just ride it bazo tlapi wa out the way len ma kena le my own ways of handling but to batlong manifest the lang rubbish in jefela ke say have a coming ke ba tlogela ke a thola ke here and last the abantu ba ya hloni pha indaba yokuthi i am no nonsense mara the one person that decides to go zama for the day shame they live to regret it they wish they never did it ba 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 na thama na la wa nkutla ke a tshabiwa like you only to understand le mo ja ga ding mo kopa le skanyanza Yang I am obviously a supernatural being in a way that not only my mom and my little sister has observed, but even thy alcoholic has also observed it. Ke kozi, ke si futu futu, ke spiza parafini, ke something jefela e imela, ke bokete ene bang tab, bang tab. Even though they act like I've been under banam, ba ya zoguti gu nesiri tinge that is around me. Hona le kozi, eke zama yanga yona libito la kache ke mulo, libito la kache ke mora na Jesus nguso manza ku ya zwa ubalabantu blaba. Last time bangi tinta, every time bangi tinta, agu hambeki for them by us. No more bang tele, no more bang in and dabanam, no more bang in and dabane spiritual gift yam. Bottom line is, largely bang trochella fail because by itseba or in and of themselves they're on borrowed time. By itseba, or on some kind of electric strike, a shapang bona when they hurt me. It always ends badly for them. Guna evidence that they have been able to make an observation of sufficiently enough to stop giving me grief. Langut. Mara every so often when I am to pang mad, I feel I am going to touch a car or eat a little shine or open my grill and flex a muscle. I am going to use a photo shoot at FHM. Every so often, go no mutu nena pravado. Got to lale lani ever we oh. Jaga halit let's take a bravado. Hagana. Let's get to imagine her. The canna lens let's all up in the leba to badengi. That manifest because, like I said, by its head, it's a mafura manga tangata to do a photo shoot for some licentious magazine. Leba na batu bateng bang tab. Lanza every so often bang hot. So for a while, ona le sang tabi. I don't understand because nina angin tandi. Nina, I'm not advocating for you. I'm not standing in the gap. Ngi ngenga usomanda uguti anigeze singis kati. Long story short, you're not my family. Angi nanda banani. Grandchild ni funan bodile. You are my enemies and nothing else. So, unlike the FHM model, opati manga oil, flexing muscles to kaketsa busadan. All up in my grill. Y'all are just some random strangers in these streets that are causing this level of crazy.
mo tsa gatenya ko Yesu. Ntse ke rapela di jara. Ntse ke rapela mengwaga ntse ke rapela di days. Matsatsi. Ntse ke rapela di ura. They all add up. And I did let you guys know the other day Uguti is cut much. It's time. I've been praying for years, I've been praying for months, I've been praying for weeks, I've been praying for days and I've been praying for hours. In other words, the window of prayer has been closing in, closing in, closing in on you. You are like ones who are in a room that keeps getting smaller and smaller. Because it's barely noticeable how the walls are moving in. But at some point you're going to be claustrophobic because you're in a 4x4 cube. And this cube will keep on getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And I've been saying, get out, get out, seek the Lord's face to escape. Eventually you're going to get crushed. You I am no longer praying now for years. I am no longer praying now for months. I am no longer praying now for weeks. I am no longer praying now for days. I am no longer praying now for hours. It appears I am now praying for minutes. In other words, when I release my prayers and all of this attrition that I am in, you are going to drop dead within minutes. It is no longer years, months, weeks, days, or even hours. It's minutes. And that's what I dreamt about. Let me use the bathroom. You know, thank God that I'm back. Thank God that Christianity avails us an opportunity or an, um, a louver legroom to brutalize, vandalize, and absolutely humiliate and utterly obliterate people without getting, getting our hands dirty. Because we belong to the one true God. Thank God that all the wrath that a person can feel against the mundo shanyayo. Thank God that he lives. That we can overcome through him. Picture this. Imagine having a stalker. Imagine having a stalker, okay? And this stalker has been around for pretty much ever since you moved into a new neighborhood. You were so excited about your new house. You have just got a new job. You've moved to a new city. You're about to meet new people, new opportunities. It's a new leaf. And you come from, let's say, a divorce from an abusive husband. You have just been divorced from an abusive husband and you are now on a roll as a woman to heal. You're on a journey of recovery. It's been two years since your divorce. You're finally starting to have some kind of semblance of hope, normal life. You're finally not as bereft all the time anymore. You've got your two kids and a perfectly viable restraining order against your ex-husband or deadbeat. And then you move into a new neighborhood and you are out here painting your house. You are out here meeting next door neighbors and kids buckle next door to introduce them to your children and all that jazz so they can go play so your kids can get accustomed to the new province that you're now living in. You're essentially starting again, you know, and like proper, you're looking forward to healing and having a future and watching your children grow and that's what's good. Alright, they are free. You are no longer sister bereft, and a company has awarded you an opportunity to earn quite a handsome amount of money, and so therefore give your children a much better life. And while you are there, you then go to like builder's warehouse, looking for somebody to help you with tiling, or looking for someone to help you carry boxes. Yeah, never mind tiling. This person is just there to help you. These people, these boys that you get from builders warehouse they're just there to help you you know carry heavy stuff your kids live on Navavanyane, so they can't really help you along the furniture removal company only just you know did the bare minimum and put the stuff more or less where you want it but you still need help and you still need somebody to weed out um grass or gardening and whatnot and then you go and you you hire some dudes buckle builders warehouse and then their boss like some dude that's driving a van with a whole bunch of stuff members that belong to him yeah so it's like ma'am uh hire us and for a small fee you'll have all of these guys at your disposal for the next week 
and then you are like oh okay cool it's a pretty good bargain i'm good the boys come in they do whatever you know uproot weeds or help you paint help you basically get situated tell you where stuff is like this is where the shop right is this is where the willies is this is where whatever because they locals you know what i'm saying but on the first day that uh they started working you had a conversation with boss yet thing and you came to learn that he owns a construction business and it's booming because the town is is developing and he then says that it would be great if if he, if you if you're prepared if you're willing would you be happy to have lunch with him so he can show you around you then agree on some okay this guy's a construction boss whatever his boys were kicking in my house and he's a single guy oh sharp and then for crying out loud what in the world you go on one date with him and he just starts manifesting all this rudeness he speaks to waiters and waitresses like they ain't jack he basically has a, a delusion of grandeur he's a he's, he's aggrandizing he's got a pomp about him that is an immediate turn off an immediate turn off to you and then you're like as in abuti i'm so um uh, it was great thanks for lunch thanks for dinner and then you just go about your business only for you to essentially ha not be aware that you have just commenced the next four years of just a violent fight that is going to bring back a severity of PTSD triggers paling in comparison to your deadbeat ex-husband because after all your ex-husband you did marry him and you were with him for years in other words he did not snap on you in just mere days it took time your ex-husband only started to manifest violence lady clapper five years into the marriage one day after starting to get after starting a new job after losing his brother that's when he became all violent he started to drink and then he became all odd and so that's why your marriage fell apart but there was a time when he was a better guy this oki uvelo wa kamuga out of nowhere like a bat out of hell anjalo from the get-go so get trigger your ex-husband your help but without the forewarning without the initial ushabu without the initial i'm chill until get surprised wa get lap I mean, really, how do you tell your ex-husband on steroids? A man that you already have a restraining order against. You've got a restraining order against him. He has got to work like a dog to improve himself before he can ever see his kids. And you are now living in Limpop. So distance also helps. Your ex-husband is a known crazy. That everybody lime got going is prepared to go and protect you from because I'm poor. 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 I'm pressure points in you as a woman you know when a guy is starting to say certain things be a certain way do stuff so you tell yourself early on you'll be good you'll be home safe because the signs were already there like your ex-husband so this dude is out here flaring up real quick on a first date sali route to the waiters and waitresses how do you think about him you know a misogyny about him on the day that he met you it would be great if you wore those on a first date already he's starting to show some kind of megalomaniacal controlling streak in him and you then after that one lunch or that one dinner are like you know what no it's cool get off i'm off through who and this guy will go out there in the wilderness i'm not going through round two but because lenja lena is pompous he's arrogant and i got to hell and i know for an answer coupled with the fact that oh sister open my edge was in my morning oh my second jenna an urbanized beautiful woman my hearing i did rural burbs what do you want to like i am on what when you go johannesburg 
Wa swaga ya ya inner city, ya big city. O tlo mothola kae, mo go leng dry mo mo limpopo. O tlo etse o tlo le plazi girls, ba dula ba mongenga velevele. They constantly kissing his behind because they are psycho fans to the fact that he is the one dude in a 20 kilometer radius that runs his own business and won't go won't come to about taking lime ka kun ba ya mfun. Manje wena mafume mafume Jose it's like really every second house back on Alabantu please every second house is a businessman every second house is a tenderpreneur every third house there is a man that runs his own consulting firm every fifth house there is some dude with a six figure salary so us ka tlo mpho ka ko Jose ba ba kan and it's really that because grand shop i just want to be single for a season leave me alone mara lo mudlo o tswa ile qomwa o tswa etse o tswa etse nje fela ko qomwa ona cherry e sa itahlele ngo yena and so o go consider a brazen brave voluptuous the arrogant to go and reject to go and tell you know that it's okay no i don't want to go on a second date coupled with the fact that mega funo kujubisha nga awe ngoba uphume jozi maboneng o batla lo bontsha plus e ya tswang ko yona o go o motho ko jozi maboneng e o thotse city girl o eben wa thweng and you did not award him the opportunity uguyozi khenya ngendaba yokuthi uyakwazi ukubamba lo muntu he can bamba for the way to tseba go bamba he knows how to Shela, oze ba kuthola chere. The new hot mom in the town. Uzo tholwa uyi. How dare you say no to me? You're rude. You speak to waiters and waitresses like they ain't jack. Ha o o driver raf. O bua le nna nka re a ke itsebe nka re a ka tlhalefa. Nka re ke khamuka mo strateng e mona ka spitsa parafini ka arrogance to dare be intelligent you are a misogynist in the worst way and you are a spoiled misogynist a spoiled chauvinist because women in these streets are psycho fans they don't stand up for themselves habana say because vele vele batlo etse go tlhokomelwa ona le plazi mindset and lana o gosi here you are a chief mara given that you're dealing with the city girls ka tlong bora and you spice ke lemsako hi guys as in a ke tse bo re nna ke o letse joang di rabishitsa banna ba so ba banga ta so yes ba banga ta guys ba ningi la matota ba tswa ila bo thikeng ba ma plus ba tlo etse di cheri ngena tse tsa di slay queen di cheri that will out your kiss the butt of a rude guy like indota enga khazi indota that you always have to keep on apologizing to waiters and waitresses o ha abu wali di waiter li di waitress you then interject and you smile ha well di bona you smile at them so that they can feel comforted by the bar when now you're not as rude as the guy you, that you're on a date with and then you don't even raise it but why is it cherry that just take that rubbish in their stride i shame no in dot danger that's going to call waiters and waitresses like that go go restauranting that level of rudeness that level of crazy i'm a thought that however that have got money to throw around quite a bit of it you understand to just throw around And so the chirita sai twa lang chalete or even if by twa tsa chalete mara they like to be supplemented by amadota they take yonke lenyong in this right they just take it all these these men that are called high value men women are just be tripping over their toes and breaking their teeth to be with them until these men meet a, a, a woman that wants character and frankly finds it distasteful that he's just so generally rude like you don't get to talk to me like that You don't get to speak to waiters and waitresses like that. They're people. You don't get to you get etc etc. You initially oba o money abuwa that way with his staff. I care. His boys. Ba go tsteng o kukuka yo boxes and everything. But you imagine dukuthi I o tsiba staff sa gagwe wa tsiba hore ke mang sipo o ga ta o drag his feet. Wa tsiba hore temba every so often he sleeps on the job. So ha ntsa buwe le bo sipo le bo temba. No, don't drop that. No, boy. Yeah, you just imagine you okay, he knows his stuff, but then when he talks like that with everything and everyone. When he is rude like that to everything and everyone. When umganwa connects door neighbor. The new person that you just met, the lady from next door that you just met. When you are like, "Oh, uh, spusi so this is Rinelwe." He's like, "Yo, hi." So how are you doing today? Or rude even to Renelo to a point where Renelo can't even get a word in on some hi sir how are you? No muntu is just rude basically his character leaves a lot to be desired. There are women who make observations of this kind of crazy in a man and are like I ba khona bo thinking that I happy to be with you ngobune mali but mina ngana ndaba nawo. Akhe batle mona o leng rude. Ebe atlo flare a violent streak. 
a violent streak imagine a man like that you out here are trying to start a new leaf you are trying to do a new thing you are trying to go out there and soar like a bird you want to heal you've got old wounds Lomuntulona is out here like Nkaka Otosa wallpaper that on a newly plastered wall on a newly wallpapered wall what was that all the construction work you did he's out here breaking down a cornish on the ceiling he's out here like and i put that scratches over his scratch on the skirting the new skirting we rebuilding and we refabishing that is your heart this this brokenness that you are in that you have been recovering concerning because it's been a couple of years since your divorce i get wow i thought like you you mm. it's just unraveling every last new construction project in your heart that you have started holo fall for crying out loud you can tell ukuthi lo muntu lona is going to unravel ama tiles wakho uzo wa like uta di uta uta khakhola di tile tso di kentse ngo bathroom mo nyapelwa hawo so because he already put a, a, a crack in one of the tiles you like i'm sorry i'm going to replace that tile but i'm never going to hang with you again because tomorrow you're going to bulldoze my entire house you're going to rock up here with some machinery your ganda gandas from your construction company and you are going to mow my whole house to the ground i've got triggers so this time around i'm far more easily breakable than i was before with my husband i was coy young dainty and naive so there was room for me to be broken with avenue for recovery better than they ever can be now this time around i got triggers this time around i am put together with freaking sticky tape bugger so please i get all in a relationship just for the sake of being mama no and you think that because you just rejected this dude for after one date you think i mean this thing did not last two days mos as i last a month as we didn't kiss we didn't even hold hands we just went for lunch I wasn't even officially your girl for crying out loud just somebody that was trying to give you a chance and i observed things that were triggers to me and so i made the right decision to cordially just let you know that oh, this is not going to work out but thank you i appreciate lunch and then this individual makes your life a living nightmare for the next four years This man decides to stalk you, calls you get a private number. How araba you find out that it's him? How le come sebetsing he's outside with flowers he drops them off. You get delivered the malom go officing. As I got this guy, you tell him man, leave me alone. When you go to the police and you try to get a restraining order, they say but like he hasn't done anything to you. Haso ha go shapa. And he's talking you claim that he's done it but he hasn't like there's there's no proof you can't like you know the the, the sad thing about stalkers is that unless when as a person who is being stalked fix this yourself understand the law is not going to do anything for you some of the better stalkers in the game know how to keep their hands looking clean while making the life of a person a living nightmare for years on end years years so this person this person lingers around jarodahao he is a construction worker i get he 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 owns a construction business he then starts taking a whole bunch of projects in your complex modulant thing or your neighborhood so how when i when you thing ile na ali there he's like no kim sebe tswaka please like i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm not tailing you he then starts to deliberately try to get close to you by hojola le one of your colleagues so he can pick up a woman every single day at work that works in your department just so he can keep eyes on you he then goes out to la neighbor yako he then Yo guys, Lomund Lona then calls you Epsugu blah blah then he starts getting violent. He starts orchestrating break-ins, robberies using Arafanabake without getting his own hands dirty. 
and so then you move house you make a decision to go to as in i'm going to move i'm going to move from here you then move from where it is that you stay to another place but you still work at the same job so he manages he prospers somehow to get your address your new one from your colleague with whom you're tight claiming to be something oh yo, guys and then he finds your new place where you stay then he starts harassing your children he starts picking them up at school saying that mom your mom said i must fetch you your kid comes back and it's like mommy mommy somebody gave me 200 bucks that that nice gentleman that was here the other day to do to, to do work monthly. he came and he said that you were okay to have him pick us up instead of our transport lomundlona because you went after your kids you then go and you confront them personally leave me alone i know how sharp fine i was just trying to be helpful i tried to seriously you walk away and then this person starts to invest in a crazy amount of that very limbopo witchcraft all up in your grill. We am poopa. Ubona paraphernalia go charting a hako. Una limmi si a chilling mo bojango musu saying how to you can tell that a ritual was done. Colono yahao. You don't know what to do. You are running from pillar to post. Understand the day arrives when no mutlona. All you want now is for them to die. All you want is for them to get hit by Imoto. All you want is for them to get into an altercation at a bar and receive a, a, a lethal, a fatal blow. All you want, basically, let something kill this person because my bonus and naka sing believe. Hankanka tipaka ya kocharatenga hai kamula yourself. I'm a mom. I cannot be out leaving abantuana bam to go to prison. So you literally just cross your fingers But you see that's just a sad thing about having a stalker Lomuntlona is just gonna keep following you And you trying to avoid prison You're just gonna have to deal with it and hope to Lomuntu Yashona And that's the sad and disquieting thing about people who are stalked by witches Who are stalked by wicked men Who are stalked by Satanists Who are stalked by persistence When they don't know Jesus when you don't know Jesus, I Shem, here, you will be listless. There, there will be nothing that you can do. Hotoba le an inability to move left and right. You will basically live a miserable life of constantly trying to move from pillar to post in order to eradicate stalking. But this person will always find you. Well, help me explain to you what's been going on with me for a decade, never mind four years. A decade. Never mind four years. And at the hands of this many stalkers, never mind just one. From an already abusive, crazy relationship where a person started out all right in the beginning of the relationship and then later on became a menace to society. An ex-boyfriend who was okay in the beginning. He became abusive in the latter parts of our relationship. I had post-traumatic stress. Already I was wary of Amatotanje Abizna Bocherin Gaditar. Already Nenzeke Shebile. I already had my eyes out there. Banna Kelikefuli. Just literally everything that a man says. With, with, with that acute hearing so that when something glitches and twitches I'll pick it up after getting out of that relationship I give my life to Christ and two years into my, rela into my relationship with God into my salvation two years into my salvation I start dating a guy that I thought was Christian understand this this dude initially i didn't want him because i was a very serious christian and he was too playful for my liking 
he spoke all the right Christianese, but there were there were fruits of his life that were not given. And so I had an apprehension in me. And my first experience of Korobela would be from that guy. I guess so, I guess so, Korobela, nah, before that, that, that dude. No man had ever won me over for him to be his girl through a love spell. And uh, until that guy. All of my boyfriends and the run up to me coming to Christ from the time I was a teenager up until the time I gave my life to Christ, none of them did I ever come because they manipulated me spiritually. It was all very organic. The original Kasiwe, Nagom. It would only be the last guy that I was with that would only because of how much he dragged his feet in the relationship and how disillusioned that was getting in it then determine to start using witchcraft inside the relationship to manipulate me to stay because i kept on threatening to leave that was me then being manipulated inside a relationship by Munawadi Taramara. he started out Ali, well, like i said it was organic he started out all right we were just organically rajola naturally but somewhere along the way in the relationship I so i had never known I, I could never know what it's like to to not have feelings for a guy and then suddenly have them because he manipulated things spiritually even though my ex-boyfriends still to this day did that after the guy who broke my virginity came at me after some dude that i used to date that was a closet homosexual uzeg after me after all the guys that I was with that slapped me, my my my, my ex boyfriend, the one that passed away in a car accident, Uze gave me Gadi Tlar only after Pumaguye. So basically, I do I, I I never mean personally. Eskara was like a strong one. I can't tell you what it's like to be in a relationship 24 hours a day from the time that you start dating a person. Tunjefela ogu vimbwa as a puppet on a string from the get go. Ogena fela sab sa 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 duba moto ogena fela sete abuzo sete a a per. Already busy now. Already he's your puppet master from the very get go. I I have only ever had one, two such relationships, and it's unfortunate because both of them happened when I was in Christ. So because I did not know what Gorobella looked like, I never could have been able to figure it out for what it was, despite being a child of the living God. All I know is that a guy that I was apprehensive about, all of a sudden I had strong feelings for him one moment, one morning when I woke up. And all of his Christian needs that I was not so convinced by, I ignored. I ignored the fact that I was apprehensive about him. And every time he would walk by, I remember telling this one colleague, because he used to work for MTN, this one colleague friend, I, I remember saying to her, yes like it listen up now i'm a christian i'm all refined there's certain speech that is no longer just gliding past my tongue anymore but i kept on telling my colleague okay every time i look at that guy i just my mind i just feel like one chance and i used the word sexy to describe him to my friend slash colleague i was like i just think he's so sexy and my colleague would look at him and be like okay garabo it's like yeah look one woman's treasure is another woman's trash so you might not think he's all that but i think he's sexy i was lustfully attracted to that guy i just wanted to have sex with him but i could not fathom being his wife because he was just so irresponsible he was just such a child he was so boyish even though he was older than me that i could not see him being a man to me god i wanted him sexually that's what Gorobela looks like but I didn't know at the time I was in training as a Christian I was in training under spiritual war I was in training to be able to identify what a love spell feels like what it looks like and how it impends on you how it suddenly encroaches up your skirt it tends to come on you like a wave of lust not so much love it is full of passions it's that which induces what would be sexual sin in a person you just want to have sex and it's not still and quiet like romance that is embarked on by two people who are genuinely falling in love it is it tends to be violent instead of passive it's it's more aggressive than it is passive 
and like i said it's full of lust it doesn't have chill it doesn't have relaxation it just has a lot of haste in it so under a corovela spell it's very easy to fornicate and i also came to learn seeing as i was in training that even as a christian you can get afflicted by a love spell because it came at me i was consecrated i was super prayerful but the difference between me and any other woman that was not in the lord was that i was like god was causing this man to manifest so much evil in my grill that it would have been essentially my irresponsibility to ignore those red flags he was rude he was not only rude he was arrogant he was pompous he was self-seeking and i don't know how many times his ipad sort of kind of fell into my presence i am and there were pics in his ipad that he had taken of random females colleagues in the office when they were not looking he was a freaking weirdo like he used to work closely with the marketing team and of marketing there were all these beautiful girls and some of them when I, I remember when he was showing me some of his designs on his iPad, he would have, he did like he had taken photos of them. Basashe, ba. Like one chick, onankiles ne pesakhe, alamo laptop on, typing. And the, the, the photo was taken from like this angle. And he claimed that that's because he was just a photographer and he likes taking photos. But then when you happened upon another woman another woman and like there were so many chicks that he had just taken pics of basa by, by, like looking in the sky or talking or typing or just walking or just yeah like these women that did not know that photos of them were being taken that was the lord saying honey this is the guy that you're with because he's got a lust problem and then there were all these stories that he would tell there were the way there, there was one woman in particular when we started dating that we were i was good peoples with her and she was good peoples and when we started dating she started giving me attitude and i couldn't understand why she was giving me attitude only to find out that it's because every so often he was making out with her and she realized that i was a new interest in his life and so she started to spawn with me she started to have energy with me because apparently i was taking her man yeah but he claimed Duguti and now he was a celibate he was waiting on god and uh these women are just his colleagues blah blah and they every so often at a marketing event he would out just smooch a girl they'd out just make out at a, a work event for hours on end until this chick would feel entitled to him such that when then he's seen walking with any other woman in the office that woman would then be the scorn of this other woman so this chick started giving me attitude because this dude who lied about who she is to him she started to give me attitude because of my relationship with him anyway these are the things that were going on i did not know because how what girl i look like therefore right i didn't know so i mean i just thought that these were my feelings organically he brittled me with lust that i i, I had determined never to kiss before i get married so definitely not making out a whole bunch on a couch and i did not want to be found alone in a man's house without there being a chaperone i knew what i what, what i wanted the courtship process that would be involved before i get married would entail and i had a bible believing church that would enable that chaperoning and he could not stand my brethren 